Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're focusing in on an important part of the recovery journal, and that is the what have I been procrastinating on uh, topic, uh, the section of the uh, recovery journal where we talk uh, about going through some different places to get a lot of things out on paper. Um, where you can fill the pages with things that you have basically stuffed down, stifled down, and has caused you to live a less than satisfactory life. And I really want to focus in here on the section on um, what have I been procrastinating? What have I been procrastinating on? Uh, because I, because of my longstanding relationship with this narcissist, I've been procrastinating on. What have I really been putting off? What have I really been depriving myself of? In what areas of my life have I really been neglecting? Because of my uh, relationship with this hurtful, psychopathic individual, what areas of my life have I really been uh, putting on the back burner? What have I really been uh, negating about myself? What have I really been uh, lacking or causing myself to avoid um, while being in a relationship with this individual? These are some important questions to ask. And the kind of answers um, you might get are, are when you realize and kind of open up, if you were to just put this, these questions on the top of one page and allow yourself to fill two pages with your own answers, you'll get a lot of information. You'll get a lot of substance. You'll get a lot of content that unbeknownst to you, these have been uh, occurring and derailing your life. For example, have you been neglecting your health? Have you uh, placed so much importance on pleasing this person, becoming um, an individual that is just right for them, or becoming an identity that is shaped and molded on um, their manipulation and reacting to them, and becoming this false persona as it relates to them, what areas of your life have you truly been avoiding? What areas of your life have you truly been neglecting? Have you been um, deluding yourself, denying uh, your truth, your your true um, inner core feelings? Have you been repressing uh, the the reality here? And if so, what what uh, effects has this really caused you? Have you been avoiding going to the doctor? Have you been avoiding eating right? Have you been avoiding sleeping correctly? Have you been avoiding uh, getting your financial house in order? Have you been allowed yourself to live so chaotic that? Oftentimes there are so many different things that you should attend to and take care of that you just don't because you would rather be with this individual or you'd rather continue to uh, su uh, support them through the various means that you are financially, uh, physically, emotionally, psychologically, um, all the time invested uh, that you have in trying to maintain the relationship, uh, the various texting uh, that goes on, the various photographs, the various Instagrams, the various Facebook, uh, the instant messages, um, the sexcapades, the text talk, um, whatever all the things that you've been doing to keep the relationship glued, but yet you're really trying to force uh, this relationship to keep your standing in a relationship with a narcissist or psychopathic individual that is not in your best interest and is causing you to avoid certain things in your life, uh, avoid confronting them. It's too painful to uh, confront. It's too um, uncomfortable. Uh, you don't have the courage uh, that's required to face this. And so you are now, unbeknownst to you, procrastinating in many areas of your life. You're putting them off. Things are becoming out of kilter because you, um, because either um, trying to maintain the relationship or to deal with the emotional aftermath, um, the anger, the uh, feeling of terror, um, coming through the gaslighting, uh, the self-regret, the self-reproach, the self-disgust that comes with having felt and, and uh, been violated through these individuals who have become so toxic and have really, you know, kind of taken people for a ride. Um, that is really what occurs. And so it's very difficult, you know, to kind of part ways with these individuals because you're so used to being entrapped. You're so used to taking care of their emotions. So you're so used to your identity as it exists in relationship to them that it's hard for you to break free and establish your own identity, your own values, your own reality once again as it relates to them and separate from them because you have become a mesh, you've become a trauma bonded, so your identity becomes intertwined with theirs. It's like your identity is is kind of like 
tangled up and it's no more. Um, it's very important to not depend on them, their reactions, etc., because that is the whole uh, seat of the hook of the love bombing um, that uh, is created with these pathological individuals, particularly the psychopath. So um, if you can get out your notebook and just write down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 things, maybe you have even 100, um, things that you have really been procrastinating um, because of having been lured into this relationship, being hurt by this relationship, being crippled by this relationship, become emotionally helpless from this relationship. What are things that you have really been truly procrastinating? What have you been putting off? What, do you, what have you been avoiding? Um, because of the hurt that this person has caused you in your life, what areas have you really suffered? What areas have you really ne neglected? What are some, some things that you would really like to do, be, or have if you could just overcome the hurt and the weakness and the depression and the anxiety that this person has caused you in your life? And furthermore, not only in your life, but in your mindset, your uh, self-talk, your thought patterns, your behaviors, your emotions, your emotional body. How have these all kind of cramped the real you and hurt the real you, defiled the real you, so that to the point where you don't even know who you are? who you are, what you are um, interested in, and what you find important, and really who you want to become. So now it's important to open that up and ask yourself these questions. Now that I'm no longer hurt, or no lo now that I'm no longer neglecting of myself, I really want to become, I really want to do, I really want to have, I really want to feel, I really want to experience, I really want to give, I really want to share. So if you can ask yourself these open-ended questions and see um, what really is the real you that is really pining for expression underneath all this hurt, because the hurt will keep you stuck. The anger will keep you stuck in the anger. So when you talk about it, it's a very low, low vibration um, emotion, um, guilt, obligation, fear, anger, hate, resentment, all these negative um, energies that you hold on to keep you separate from clarity. They keep you separate from hope. They keep you separate from your greatest self. They, they keep you separate from the infinite energy and abundance that is part of you and part of the, uh, the abundant mindset, which is living in your, your true source energy, which is li living in your best self, which is really living in your optimal energy, your optimal thought patterns, your optimal emotions, your optional, uh, you know, uh, your optimal uh, behaviors. You know, if you are always angry, um, you know, and always feeling um, reactive, if you're always feeling, um, you know, uh, in insulted, you know, you're always having to defend and justify yourself. You're actually, you know, now in the life of just living as a victim versus as a victor or as a true person. So, it's very important, I would say, to come and ask yourself these questions on the page. Because if you can ask them on the page in the recovery journal, I have a place where you can type or you can write, or you know, you can um, you know, if whatever method, I mean if some people, you know, um if you can't write because you have a tremor, you know, then you need to um get into a place where you can either um use your phone or record it or videotape it or do something where you can come to term with this and then begin to pick and choose these things from your list of a hundred things that you need and are going to and pursue. And also I want to, you to uh, develop your language. So rather than it being, um, you know, I really need to pursue, I really want to pursue, I am pursuing. Change your self-talk to, you know, I really need to uh, work on this or I really need to get into a class or I really need to exercise or I really need to sleep better. Or I really need to, you know, meet some nice people who are more like me. Um, instead of saying I need to, it's kind of like fear uh, tinged with like I'm not really going to. Like, you know, if, if you know the the uh, ideal me might do that. Um, so take away the uncertainty and begin to use the um, the uh, language I am. I am eating better. I am sleeping better. I am surrounding myself with people who do support me. I am now feeling at peace. I am now feeling happy. I am now free of the guilt. 
I'm now, I am now free of the shame. I am now free of their control. I am now free of their insults. I'm now free of their anger. I am now free of their hostility. I am now free of their violence. I am now free of their hypersexualization. I am now free of their delusion. I am now free of their illusion and the love bombing. I am now free of that. And I'm, I have such gratitude. I now have gratitude that I'm free. I now have gratitude that I'm pursuing. I now have gratitude that I'm eating well. I now have gratitude that I'm sleeping well. I now have gratitude that I'm taking care of myself. I now have gratitude that I'm independent, strong. I now have gratitude that I can validate myself. I now know and have certainty and believe in myself that I now validate myself with every step. I now am making positive uh, decisions continually and I now trust my good decisions. I've now released the all the negative decisions that I was making previously and I'm no longer making those bad decisions. I'm now making positive decisions that are actually most beneficial for me. And furthermore, I'm now no longer engaging in those behaviors to sublimate and furthermore try to um, inadvertently not heal but perpetuate the wounds and I'm no longer exasperating and perpetuating the wounds. I'm no longer keeping those in place. I'm letting those go and I'm now engaging in thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and mindset that are more conducive to my true happiness, my true joy, my true bliss. And I, I live that on a moment by moment basis. And I'm uh, consistently reminding myself that that is who I am. That's how I want to be. That's how I want to feel. That's how I want to behave. And those are my actions that I'm now taking and reminding myself of every day. And I'm making a note to myself in my recovery journal that this is who I am, want to do, be, do, have, and become an experience. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share, please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.